Hey guys. So I like Jesse here. So I'm just having over here. No. Okay, so supposedly I guess I'm just some idiot because I don't know how to work a phone. Which may be true because I don't really know how to work my phone that I've had for over a year or two. Anyways, uh, maybe I can get a full video out of this one. If I'm going to let me record a minute. No, no, no. It's like four minutes and something. Almost five minutes. I got a lot more to say in five minutes. Just to let you know. So, what would come funny wasn't funny in the beginning. Like, what I got to say is not funny, but now I'm in the mood. I even put on my hat. So, this, this should be a uh, Crystal Pepsi, but it's not a Crystal Pepsi. Because there aren't any Crystal Pepsis where I live. Any hoodle. Okay. Did, no, I did not cut the hair. It's just in some kind of formation that I did with a rubber. Yeah. It, 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 it's, yeah. I don't know how to do hair. Anyways. Okay, so this is an update like on me and my mother. Oh my god, I was so like depressed and now I'm not depressed it's so freaking weird um because something funny happened between making the first video and this one anyways I need to get on with it so I'm gonna go far as far back as before I left here originally this is my original property uh, which is now mine and so um, when we left Hot Spring, okay, when, when, when I lived here before, I was ready to go, I needed to get out, because this town was just driving me crazy, and I figured out that it wasn't the town so much driving me crazy, it was just my mom driving me crazy, and so, but the town's no cool anyways, this is like a tourist trap, sorry. Anyways, uh, so I, I had a secured the funds to move to the big city. So we moved to the big city. And um, the, shortly thereafter, I figured out the real, what was really going on, and it, it was not good. And so, like, I was, like, instantly scared. And, like, the whole time I was there, it was, uh, it was just, it, it wasn't good. And, um... So, my mom lost her job shortly thereafter, and that was half of the income to pay towards the bill. Sorry. And then I had to come up with the money for a few months, uh, because she had surgery, and I was going to give give her rehab there. And that surgery kept getting postponed, postponed. But anyways, um, I stayed until, what, I think 10 months. Stayed 10, 10 months. And, uh... So anyways, we moved back down here, and shortly thereafter, them moving back in next door, um, they started again, so I asked them to move. Uh, her boyfriend had got his SSI anyways, and it was a large back pay. Leave. I asked them to move, they moved. I don't really hear from her very often uh, when they moved, uh, so like the whole time that they were gone, I really didn't hear from her until she broke down and was so out of her mind. And why she was so out of her mind, because she went, I, this is my opinion, she's going to say this slander, but it's not, this is my my opinion, in my opinion, I-M-O. Um, she went on a three week binge of crack, in my opinion. And she has burnt herself up, up here. That's what we call it down here in the sticks. Burnt up. She's burnt up. And she's crazy now. She's burnt up and crazy now. So, 
Nobody can stand her. Nobody can deal with her. She's not allowed back in my house. She was not allowed. She's not allowed back at her sister's place, and now she's not allowed back at her ex-husband's place, which she was most recently until tonight. Or well, now it's 1:09 a.m. So until last night, she left, and she's back in Hot Springs. She's back in the big city. I don't. I I, I think she's probably going to go back to doing the drugs. Uh, she had gone back to drinking when she's in stage five renal failure. In my opinion. I saw records though, so in my opinion, via doctor records seen by these eyes, um, she has stage, she had stage four renal failure, but she's got to be in stage five now, because she just went on a binge of, of vodka and beer, so, tell me that ain't going to fuck up a stage four to stage five, like, yeah, I'm saying she has stage five, in my opinion, stage five, renal failure of her kidneys. So we've all dealt with her, and we've all sorrowed, and we've all cried, especially me. My, my little trash can I have here is full of tissues. It looks like a young teen's boy's room trash can, and, uh, and it was tonight, and I'm done now. Like, I had already cut myself off from her, but I'm done now. I'm going to change my phone number. Uh, I'm going to block her on Facebook and uh, bl keep blocking She'll make more whatever. Keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking. And I'm done. I don't care what happens. I, I'm sorry to the family. You the guys owe the truth. You guys need the, to know the truth. And you deserve to know the truth. And to, to her friends and old school friends, old buds, old heads. Yes, this is all true. It's not, re it's not fake. It's not false. I've not edited videos that they were all real. Um, and I... Okay, to the point tonight, I'm done, right? So I'm done. And that is my choice because I'm free to choose to not have anything to do with her anymore. I'm free to choose not to pursue trying to get her help because I've already pursued it for so fucking long to try to get her help. Somebody else can do that for me now or do it for her because I'm done. Garland County didn't want to help me when I told them even though I didn't know the physical number address I told them exactly where they were and I said they have every type of drug there is in my opinion and they didn't care because I didn't have the three letter, the three numbers of their location woman on the phone didn't care she was rude Y'all need to fire some people up there to answer phones in Garland County. But I ain't saying any, Pike County's any better. Pike County don't want to help. That's where I live. Pike County, they don't want anything to do with her. They don't want shit to do with her. They don't want to pay to put her nowhere. They don't want an ambulance ride her again, like for the 7th or 8th and 10th time this year. Or last, yeah, this year. <laughs> um, so recently, uh, she's been staying with her ex-husband and... Now uh, she's accusing me of this is the preposterous shit that she's saying about me. If you are under the age of 18, you do not need to listen to this. You need to click off now. Um, I'll try to, it's like 8.45. I'll try, try to make it like a minute. So like in 10 seconds, I'll make it like a minute of me talking about this particular subject. And you can come back to the video or you can skip ahead to... Um, See, we're thinking get nine minutes. You skip ahead to ten minutes. Okay. Recently, she's um, she is accusing me of sleeping with her ex-boyfriend, her ex-husband, which was my stepfather. That we're all sleeping together, and we're making pornography, and we're also abusing our animals as sexual partners, which is totally false. That's like, we, we could let other shit go, but, because she's crazy, but saying that, she, that we're having sexual relations with our little dogs, my little dog, she's lost her ever-loving mind, she's burnt her head up, and she'll never be back, and she's saying worse things about other people too, not just us, and she said, and this woman, by the way, this woman is like a Hannibal Lecter, except for the eating of the human part. She is like Hannibal Lecter up here in the head, okay? 
Well, now we have a minute. Hey, but hey guys, if you were under 18 and, and did what I said, thank you very much. So, anyways, um, I don't know how long, much longer it's going to go. If it cuts off, I'm uploading it anyways. If I don't get to finish. Um, so, she's gone back up to, to, to the big city. I don't know where she is. I, I, I have a new number for her. She left on a message on my answer machine. That's why i got to change my phone number. Um, I don't have a cell phone. Haven't had one in a fucking long time. So, um, yeah, I've got it. I'm using it right now, but it has no soda. Um, I don't even have TV here. I just have internet. That I just got a bill. Literally. Just got a bill. Urgent. You owe us. Disconnect notice. I've got the money in my back pocket, but it's not often I can get free from here to go to Nashville, to Walmart, to load my card. There's need, there needs to be another way. I guess I need to get a checking account, but I don't like the government, so... <laughs> I don't like checking. I don't like... So I need to get a card that doesn't charge me to use it. But there's nothing in this town. I swear there's nothing in this town. Anyways, um, that's how I feel. Her friends can can ignore my post about what happened to me when I was 0 to 10. And they know it. They're ignoring it because they don't want to get involved. They don't want to admit they know of the abuse that I went through, that my brother went through. Um, they don't want to get involved with it. And I totally understand. You know what? I totally fucking understand. Whatever. That's cool. Um... And the family that's watching this won't say anything either. I understand, too. I understand. You don't want to get your name out there. You don't want to. I understand people want to save face. God, it's too hot here. I understand you people don't want to save face. Or you wanting to save face. Shit. It's human nature not to let nobody know your real feelings about something. These days, right? I'll, I'll let you fucking know right up straight up, straight up. So she has brought me down to a level of me just about to to die, honestly, uh, ready to die myself, and depression and all this shit. And you know, I'm letting it go. I'm done. That's it. And you can condemn me like her friends can condemn me. Danny K. Chambers, fuck you, son of a bitch. Um. And anybody else can condemn me. Uh, but everybody knows the truth. Everybody knows the truth. They just don't want to talk about it. That's the problem. And no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. And I'm not like, uh, uh, what's his name? Like I referred to mom as. She's like half Charles Manson. I swear she needs an exorcism. Legit, she needs an exorcism. Um, she's like half Charles Manson and half uh, Hannibal Lecter, but she's not, she doesn't she's not into eating humans. But she is like Hannibal Lecter. She's burnt up her her brain uh, her, on drugs, but like she still has that evilness inside of her. It's still in there, and like I swear she's got a demon in her or something because she is so evil. She calls me fag and queer. And little girl and all kinds of stuff to my face the last thing she said to me to my face was fuck off fag I was like love you too mom so I'm done with her whoever wants her can have her uh, I, if I have to go through the courts to get my name like not responsible for her or whatever I have to do I'm going to do it Everything to do with her. She, now she's saying she doesn't want me to have her ashes. That's fine with me. Give them to my brother who's in prison who has no idea that you're crazy, addicted, meth, cracked out, uh, weighing 80 pounds, crazy, thinks you're with the FBI, CIA, um, and all the sheriffs in the surrounding counties, and you're you're an informant, and you're a, 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 a detective. Okay. That's a little drop there for you. Your son in prison has no idea, thank God, we haven't told him that his mother has gone crazy because he would probably be upset. That's why we're not going to tell him that you've gone absolutely nuts, Mom. We're going to wait till he 
gets out, and it's going to be sad because you're not going to be here when it gets out. It's really sad. But anyways, I want to update you guys. I don't want to make you feel bad. Don't feel bad, guys. Don't feel bad for me. I mean, I, I cried. I let it out. Uh, I'm, I'm a grown man, and uh, I'm, I'm, it's a, it is what it is, you know. Uh, it is what it is. I'm the, I'm the kind of person that has been through everything, literally almost everything. I haven't been through a severe earthquake or uh, a tsunami or an avalanche or nearly falling off the top of a very large building in a big city or anything like that. So, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had to medicate before I made the video because I was so fucking frustrated. But anyways, what was I saying? Something like the things I haven't been through. Not been not been bitten by a rattlesnake. Almost been bitten by a rattlesnake. Have been bitten by a venomous snake multiple times. Out in the woods and by the lake. There have been caught. Uh, uh, rattlesnakes in my yard several times here in town that this town's uh, fo football whatever they're 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 the Murfreesboro uh, rattlers because we have so many rattlesnakes in this area if you care um me personally is what I'm gonna do is fucking don't know what I'm going to do with myself, to be honest with you. I'm ready for her to be over. I'm ready for her to be locked up in a long-term facility or her past, unfortunately, her past, because I can't... What the hell happened? Um, looks like one of the shells from under the sea. Um, I, I'm done with her, and I don't care what happens to her from now on. And that's sad that I come to that conclusion tonight talking to my friend on Facebook, which was the only one that messaged me. By the way, in Canada, <laughs> my friend on Facebook and YouTube, even though I've never been able to sit down and watch a multitude of their videos. But thank you. Um, yeah, of all people, Canada, you know. Other one other person trickled in, I think, and then a couple of uh, likes for some friends. Thanks so much. And did get a phone call from her family, but I, I would, would unfortunately, sissy, I couldn't talk at the moment. Still can't talk. Don't want to talk. This is the official talk right here. I've let my mom go, and I'm not going to get her back, and that's all there is to it. I am not going to have it on my shoulders. I'm not going to have it on my head. Uh, I've done everything I can for her and everybody else in her immediate family and not immediate family like the guy she divorced took her back doesn't want to have anything to do with her anymore and because uh, because of, because of where she went to and that's it I'm done it's over mom I love you. I always will. I never meant to hurt you. If I ever did. But, uh... It's over. And, uh... I don't want to have anything else to do with you. You're not my mother. You're just Nancy Laverne whatever you choose as a last name. You've had several. Plenty to choose from. So that's it, guys. Don't mean it down, anybody. Like I said earlier, 10 minutes ago or something. Don't mean to down your day. Don't mean to trigger you if I did. My apologies. And, uh, the world's going to shit, by the way, in a handbasket, and everybody's pretending it's not happening. But it is. 
So, I just hope you're... It's been over 20 minutes. I just hope you're content with who you're with, who you're not with. I've been celibate since 8 24 14. Do the math. Today's 12th, December 1st, 2017. I'll turn 32 in, seven, in, in 16 days. So be content with who you're with, or if you're not with anybody, be content, be happy. Don't do anything that's harming yourself or harming others. That's a broad spectrum right there. Don't do drugs. At least not the hard ones. Smoking a little pot every now and then ain't gonna hurt nobody. It can only help. Trump on marijuana. Lord have mercy, what would he do? <laughs> Wonder what kind of tweets he'd send. Alright guys. That's all I gotta say. I've gained weight. I'm back up to like 180. I don't mind. To be honest with you. Don't mind at all. I've been eating. <laughs> I've been eating sweets. And sweets. More sweets. Gonna get my teeth soon. A whole new set of teeth. Permanent, hopefully. Costs a lot of fucking money. That's sad. They could chop their prices in half and still could make out to be a lot richer than everybody else around here. Alright guys, I love you. Peace. If you stayed in here for this entire vlog and watched the entire vlog, um, use some like a, a little uh, bee emoji, please. Love you guys. Peace.